Hello and welcome to Stesland. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at this new mod that I found called Terra Firmacraft. Let me just adjust my chair a minute to get into the zone. Okay, so Terra Firmacraft, if you haven't heard of it, is this incredible mod where that makes the game super survival based and super difficult. Um, and I love that concept. I've always thought to myself, why isn't Minecraft survival more about surviving? Why is it just about, you know, I, I have to survive for like an hour and then I can basically have anything I want. So, this is Terra Firmacraft. If you uh, aren't a fan of really difficult games, and this probably isn't the game for you, but if you're a fan of really hard survival mods and games and things like that, then this is absolutely the game for you. So in this episode, I'm going to quickly go over uh, how you can get started in this mod, because it is very brutal and very difficult and in time it's very complicated. And there isn't a huge amount of support of it online. This is build 77, I believe, which is the most recent build up to date, um, right now, um, October 2013. Um, and okay, so when you get in, you're gonna be, you're gonna see these little blocks on the ground. Now, you wanna wanna put these up. These are, um, like stones or rocks. And, uh, one thing I will say now is that they, um, I, I'm fairly certain that they indicate what is below them. I'm 99% sure of that. So if you dug down really far, uh, directly underneath it, the rocks on the surface indicate what you would find below the surface. Now, one thing I have found is in this mod that uh, you uh, like ground level is much higher than uh, normal Minecraft, and I think that's the intention. And I think it's meant to mean that there's a lot more below you than there is above you, because this game is meant to be like realistic. So rather than having like massive tall towers, it's more about having realistic structures, and they want to have a lot of depth in the ground. So all I'm doing here is I'm collecting a sort of rock. I think I've got enough now. Um, and I'm going to make some tools. And how you do that is you uh, select the stone. This is still stone rock. And you right click and it'll open up this uh, UI. Now this is how you make tools. By bashing the two stones together you can make tools. Now what I'm making here is an axe head. Okay, so this is the, uh, that's the recipe for the axe head. And you have to close it and right click again. Now what I'm making here is a shovel. There you go, that's your shovel stone head. And then uh, the last item we're going to want is a knife. Now these are your three core items for the Stone Age, okay? Excellent, right. Once you've done that, you are going to want to collect some sticks. Now most of you would obviously start punching down trees, but in Terra Firmacraft, you can't actually punch the trees down. But what you can do is hit the pla uh, hit the uh, the leaves on it, and leaves have got a, a small chance. Well, not, I wouldn't say small. They've got a chance of dropping sticks and saplings from the actual leaves themselves, which is much more realistic in, in, well, I think it's much more realistic. You don't get sticks from, like, logs, do you? You get it from the twigs and things. Once you've done that, you just get some sticks, and then you just put your head on top like that, and boom, you've got your tool. Now, these things have got a very low durability, run out very quickly, but as you can see, you can pick up the materials to make them very quickly. Now, in this mod, um, it's got, um, I can't remember what the mod was called, um, it's like the forestry mod or something. Where you hit the bottom tree and the whole tree falls down. Well, that's exactly the same as this. You take an axe. It takes a long time, mind. And then, finally, the tree will collapse. Now, as you can see, this isn't wood. Uh, this this isn't, well, wood, not wood planks, anyway. This is just uh, white cedar, which is essentially like um, like round logs, essentially. It's not something you can directly work with. It's just raw, raw wood. Uh, so, we're going to cut a couple of these down. Uh, just to collect some basic wood. And then, we're going to move on. Uh, let's do uh, one more. So, the most difficult thing about this mod is surviving the first, I don't know, five or six nights. Okay, so let's take the knife and we're going to start hitting long grass. Now, you notice that um, straw drops when you hit long grass with a knife. Now, straw is um, what you need to start fires later on in the game, um, like pit fires, but we'll cover that later. But right now, what we need it to do is to make thatch roofing. Now, thatch is a really easy block, like a, a craft, a uh, buildable block that you can make homes and things with. So, um, this is a great building material just to keep us alive for the first so many nights. As I was saying, uh, surviving the first five or six nights is probably the hardest thing you'll do in this game because of uh, two things. One, you can't hit trees with your hands, so there's only so much wood you can carry. Two, um, the, on, on this game is a very um, unforgiving um, collapsing mechanic. Uh, where, uh, where anything that's like wouldn't hold up would collapse. So, for instance, like a five long ceiling with no support beams on it, in real life, if it was made of stone, would collapse because there's nothing supporting it. 
And that's what happens in this game. So if you're just like mining and you haven't got support beams up, then scene's going to collapse on your ass. Uh, the second thing is everything has gravity in this game that isn't natural spawning. So if I make cobblestone and place it up in the air, it will drop. Same as dirt and everything else. It has the same mechanic as sand and gravel in, in vanilla game. So um, that makes surviving the first couple of nights uh, rather difficult because normally you would just dig the hole and put a bit of dirt above you or whatever. But can you do that in this? Um, now, uh, the starting zone. Uh, I will tell you why I've chosen this starting zone. Just collect a little bit more stone so we've got plenty. Right, the reason why I've chosen the starting area is because uh, I don't think, or at least I haven't come across, any way of moving water blocks yet. I, there may well be very late game, but the thing you'll discover about this game is um, you progress very slowly. So you need to be by water. The second thing is you need to be by clay. And you can see that that over there, the stripy stuff, is clay. And it's also identified by these strange looking yellow plants. Not the vanilla plants, these strange looking yellow ones. They always are directly above um, clay. The third reason is I saw a load of uh, natural spawning plants in the area. Such as these. And there was some wheat somewhere uh, over there. Look, there's some natural spawning wheat. And lots of trees. So those are the things you're going to be looking out for when starting the game afresh. Now, uh, let's say, let's build up here on this little platform. Now, the next thing I will say is this mod has added some really cool uh, new music effects. And I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Like that. And I'm going to make sure that my Fraps is recording Windows 7 sounds. It is indeed. Excellent. So, surviving the first night. Now, we need to haul ass because I've been so busy talking that I haven't actually been preparing to survive the first night, which is bad. Now, what we'll do is we will literally create Crap Shack. We're going to create something that's just like utterly ridiculous and crap and shit, but... It'll make us survive the first night, which is the most important thing. Now, in this game, you have thirst and hunger that are much more realistic than the Minecraft vanilla. Uh, thir thirst goes down a lot quicker than hunger and will go down no matter what you're doing. And like normal Minecraft, even if you stood still doing nothing, your hunger and your thirst bar will still go down. And the more active you're being, the faster it will go down. So that's something you always need to keep an eye on. Um, if you go down to half thirst, you get a... a persistence uh, slow uh, debug and I, th I don't think you get anything from hunger but um, if it goes down to empty you start to starve to death like much like you do in you know, Minecraft. Uh, food is much more realistic in this game if you kill a cow for instance you will get like 15 to 20 uh, meat from it rather than like you know two which is just ridiculous. Um, so yeah so that's much more realistic. Um, and you have to cook it on a fire rather than a furnace, but we'll cover all of this in a moment. I'm just gathering a few more sticks because we're going to need to start a fire. And I'm just going to prune back this tree at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Right, how many took? Oh, nine. Okay. Um, right, we're running out of time here. It's getting dark and the mobs in this game are unforgiving. So, we are going to uh, place these down like log piles. So, if you hold down shift and then right click... They place log piles, which um, is essentially like uh, storage for wood without having to put it in anything. Because if I select a different item and right click it, I can have four in each of these. It's a way of storing woods um, beyond using the various storing methods in this game, such as chests and vases and whatnot. But we'll cover that at some point during this video, uh, during this series. Even. So uh, we are in big, 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 big trouble. Now, I've never actually tested to see if these go down. That is taking a long ass time. I don't actually know if this is going to collapse. I've never actually come across any of these trees before in this game. So, it'd be a bit broken if it... Wow, it did. Okay, so we are in an amazing biome. Um, because that just gave us a whole lot of wood. Excellent. Right, now, uh, these are full now. So, um, we are just going to want to get anything up to keep us alive for the night. Because it is getting dark now. So uh, let's make this into thatch. So turn this into thatch, you just have to do this. And then we need to get something up immediately before we die. Um, let us... Ooh, how are we going to do this? Right, uh, screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, getting nervous. So let's just get... It doesn't matter how spectacular or how crap this is, just as long as we don't die. 
this isn't going to be enough. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Um, we also don't have any torches. That's not a huge deal. Uh, right. Oh, damn it. We are in trouble here. We are in trouble here. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, balls. Um, okay. Um, this is what we'll do. This is what we're going to do. This is not ideal, but we only have to survive the first night, and then we can fix it for tomorrow. So let's get this, and we'll put it down like that. And we'll just... Oh, God, let me do that. Okay, so that is what dirt does if you don't... Um, if you try to place this. You can't nerd pole in this game because everything has got gravity. Okay. <laughs> I'm really quite nervous right now because mobs are really unforgiving in this. Right. You can remove this once we build it up. Oh my god. Right, let's just seal this up because I'm like, I really don't want to die immediately. Right. Whew. Okay, we're safe. It's bloody dark, but we're, but we're safe. Right. So now we are going to make a fire. So you get two sticks and you put it down like that. That is now a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Right, we're going to make a little hole because this is the best way to do it initially. And because I can't see anything. And you probably are just seeing pitch black right now. You're going to literally just throw three sticks into a hole. Then you're going to right click it with the fire starter. For some reason, I don't want to go. There we go. I think I only threw down two. Oh my goodness! Right, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. We are we are safe for now. Um, this is our crappy hole. Okay, so all I did there was I literally just Q dropped three sticks into a hole and then I set it on fire and with a fire starter. And this is the fire. So we hold fire. We are now going to uh, make uh, a torch. And all you do is you just stick a stick in the top there and it lights and you have a torch. These don't run out, they will stay up forever, thank God. And, okay, we are now, we have survived the first night. Now, this is why I wanted to make sure I was near a food source, because you got to keep track of this. Now, while we're waiting for the uh, daytime, I'm going to talk a little bit about the game. Um, and for a little bit of a taste of what we'll be doing next episode. So, thirst bars. You can either sit in water to regain thirst, or you can make uh, drinking jugs, which you can then fill with water and drink from, like a, a bucket. Although you can't do that in vanilla, but you know what I mean. Um, which makes the game a lot more realistic. Now, this game also has seasons, which means in winter, the uh, your crops grow slower. Um, there's snow forms on the build, on houses. Uh, I don't know if it forms on low ground, but it certainly forms on high ground, no matter what biome you're in. Top of trees. Trees grow slower, um, and things like that. Uh, animals don't breed as much. I think animal spawns go down, uh, and things like that. And um, animal spawns are a lot more rare, a lot more rare. As you notice, we haven't seen a single animal since the beginning of this episode. You have to go looking for them, and you really, really need to go looking for them. And in this game, they've also got... They're either bears or they're brown wolves. I'm not sure what they are, but they're certainly in this game. And there's also uh, deer and stags. Uh, which is very cool. They hop around the trees and stuff. And yeah, in this game, there are male and female animals. Um, uh, so if you want to breed, you have to have a male and a female. Uh, the uh, child animals, the young, the calves and things, the child animals, Jesus. Um, they are much smaller than in vanilla Minecraft and the heads aren't so bleeding big. Um, and they grow as they age and they take a long time like we're talking like a hundred minecraft days to age and they will slowly get bigger they don't just go from being young to being adult they will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they are the size of an adult which is amazing that's such a good such a good idea um plants take considerable time to grow trees take weeks in-game weeks plants take in-game months to build um i've planted some tomatoes on my server that i play with my housemates and I have probably clocked about 30 nights and the tomato plant still has not grown. Uh, it's growing. You can see it growing, but 
if still is not able to bear any fruit. So anyway, this is Terraformacraft. Um, this hasn't been much. This has just been showing you how to, like, the very initial stages of what you're going to be looking for when starting on a game, on a server, or whatever. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you what clay is used for, how you can use uh, pit kilns, I think they're called, uh, basically like pit fires to cook your clay, um, to make jars, drinking jars, storage jars, and molds. And then in the episode after that, I'm going to be covering how you begin making metals. Now, metals is a really big thing in this game. So, I hope this has been somewhat interesting and somewhat helpful and somewhat hilarious as I cower in a pit of dirt. Uh, next episode will be much more informative and the following episode will be covering metals, so that would be amazing. I'm really, really excited about this mod, um, so I'm looking forward to doing a series on it. And one last thing, and I swear to God I'll shut up once I say this, um... This wasn't the easiest thing to in install, and it certainly wasn't the easiest thing to have make a server for. Um, so, if you get stuck, uh, there's a, there's a link below for the wiki for this mod, and there's installation uh, guides on the wiki. But if you still can't understand it, let me know in the comments, and if I get enough people saying that they don't understand or they want to see a video on it, I will make a video on how to install it client-side, and I will make a video on how to install it server uh, on your computer. There goes my fire. Shit. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, let me know if you want to do that. Let me know any questions below. I'll happily answer any questions on the mod because I absolutely love this. Oh my god, I have talked your ear off. I am sorry. But as you can tell, I'm really excited about this mod. So hopefully I will be seeing you in the next video. Uh, I have been Stazza. You have been amazing. Just hitting my dash there. And I will see you next time. Bye.